Hi, I'm Holly Clegg. Welcome to my kitchen, and boy, do I have a great rush hour recipe for you today. I have the secret to being too hot in the kitchen with my pina colada brie recipe, which is from the effortless entertaining section. It's like your favorite drink in an appetizer. Doesn't get any better than that. Not even 10 ingredients, four ingredients. So easy, and I promise, when I'm entertaining, this is really one of my go-to recipes for numerous reasons. It always steals the show, and it's so simple to make, and it's another one of those make-ahead recipes, so you're not scurrying around at last minute. So let's get started. So we start with the brie, and you really could use any size brie, and you could adjust the recipe. Uh, you wanna cut it in half, and I scrape the rind off the top. So now here's our bottom half. And you also want to use an oven uh, proof bowl because you're going to cook it in the oven or else in the microwave. You get crushed pineapple, and we're going to use about two thirds of this and put it in the middle. Remember, we're doing pina colada, light brown sugar. Oh, what could be better? Brown sugar, coconut, and pineapple. Yum, 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 yum. Okay. And then we're just going to put our top on as such. We're going to finish it off with our pineapple and a little more brown sugar and then coconut. I don't know about y'all, but anything with coconut, I have my attention to. Okay, now you're done. You could put it in the refrigerator or you can bake it at 325 for 5 to 10 minutes or you could even stick it in the microwave, whatever, just so that brie, that creamy brie is oozing out and you have your favorite drink in an appetizer. One last tip, when it's done, I love to toast coconut and pecans and you just put it on your finished brie. Now, I hope you'll try this recipe and you can find the link below or the recipe's in Too Hot in the Kitchen, Secrets to Sizzle at Any Age. Mm -hmm.